This video was produced by Godly Christian Ministries. If you'd like to find more Christian resources like this, you can go to www.godlychristianministries.com. This is the first video of a four-part video series on the Word Bible software, which is a free program that you can download from the Internet. And it, you can have several commentaries, and dictionaries, and uh, Bibles <laughs> on it. So let's get started here. This is the first video of a four-part video series, and the first in this first video we'll be talking about how to download and install this download and install this program. The second video will be talking about how to download and install modules, which would be the Bibles, dictionaries, and commentaries. In the third video, we'll be talking about the general use of the, this program, how to use it, and in the fourth video, we'll be talking about some tips and tricks. Well, let's get started. So we're going to be first thing to do in order to get this program installed is you have to download it from the website. So where you're going to have to go to is the Word. So you're going to need to go to theword.gr. Just type it into your favorite browser, whether it be Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome, or Safari, or something like that. I am using Chrome today. And so once you got that on there, you can go to the site. And once you come here, you're going to see uh, the site as it appears right now. And you'll find that there's a big button here that says download. That's the button that you're going to need to click in order to download it. All right, but some other little quick things here. Over in this little section here, you're going to find some news and updates information. We'll talk about when new modules come out for the software. And also, we'll give you some information on uh, uh, you know, when a new version of the program comes out. So anyway, uh, let's come over to the downloads page and let's go to the word this is another location where you can download uh, the package and stuff you can also uh, uh, there's other packages you can also download with with more different uh, with either less modules or different things like that but this is the main package that you can download we'll just jump over here to more packages under downloads as well and you'll see here this is the main package that you would be normally downloading. It's about uh, 35 megabytes, or you can small download a smaller English package that just has less modules on it. Or you have different options down here as an upgrade package as well. All right, so let's just uh, click on this one here or any of the other spots to download it. And once you do that, it will you can save it to some location on your computer. Go to that spot and double click on it. I already did this, so you don't have to wait and watch this thing download. I have it stored right in this folder here called the word setup and once you get that there you just double click on it so I'll do that right now I agree to the security settings and it's going to pop up with an initialization and once it gets done initializing it's going to pop up here with uh, a little thing here it recommends that you close the other programs on your computer well for the most part most of the programs are closed on my computer so let's get going uh, all right this is a user agreement. Its program is free. It was produced by uh, this guy right here. And we owe a big thank you to him because this is not something that would normally, something this nice isn't normally free. So I encourage you to uh, take the time and uh, possibly give him a donation or something like that if you enjoy the program because it, he's it's really a blessing so alright let's agree to these terms it's free so uh, let's go now there's two different versions that you can install in a sense or different uh, modes of installation one allows you to uh, install it in the normal mode which basically means if just like you install any normal program on a computer uh, that's how it works or this is this compact mode which is really kind of neat you can install this uh, program on a flash drive or just any location on your computer and then you can unplug that flash drive or copy that folder onto another computer somehow and 
it will work just fine, just like where you left off. So, for instance, if we install it on, if we click here and click that we want to install it on a flash drive and stuff like that, then we can install the whole package on there and then unplug our flash drive from our computer and go to somebody else's computer, plug it in and open it up and it will be just like we left off from uh, when we were on the our, our computer here. So, alright, but for this purposes we're just going to go do in the normal mode. So, but this is very handy in fact I, I have it installed that way on my computer so I can give it to other people more easily. Click Next and then you'll be given some options here of different add-on modules. If you want to install all these, then you can do that right there. You're going to see here that the space required is 114.4 megabytes. So if you're if you're limited on space, you might have to decrease some of these guys here, and you'll see that it actually decreases the the different uh, amount of space it's going to require. But I encourage you, you know, get some more space if you don't have enough space because the resources that are available through this are, are quite amazing. So, all right, uh, let's do next. And then you got this is the location where it's going to be installing the program here. That's fine. All right, it's going to install the main package here right now. And once it gets done installing the main package, it will start uh, installing the different little module add-ons that uh, that were there as well. There it goes. Now it's installing the modules. It's almost done. Okay. Now if you did the compact mode, it might not uh, run the program right off the bat, but if you do, just go to your startup folder and uh, find it in there like you normally would find another program uh, that would be down over here and it will be be under your, all your programs be down here by the word now you can start it up there but because uh, I didn't install it in compact mode I can just click finish uh, if you do install it in compact mode just uh you'll have to go to the location, you'll have to find the location where you actually installed it. So if you had to go to your flash drive, if you installed it on your flash drive, uh, if you installed it on your desktop in compact mode, then you had to go to your desktop. So just look for the, the icon that looks like the word. Right now is what it's doing. The first time you start up the program, it has to index all the modules. And so it's, it's building an index for each one. The next time it starts, it'll start up a lot faster. When you first get to the program here, you're going to see this uh, little welcome window that uh, was just recently added onto the, the software. Uh, I don't know, you know, in upcoming versions, you know, this may look different, or, you know, there might be other things you see, uh, but that's initially how you install the program and where you get it from. Right, right here, this little handy tool here gives you a little start off here, so you can either start in beginner mode, basic mode, or default mode. Um, We'll just do basic mode for simplicity right now. You just click on that and go to go. And the layout has been applied. Click OK. And we have it installed on our computer. So this is a, a basic rundown of how to install uh, the Word on uh, a computer and how to download it from the internet. So I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, the following videos will be talking about how to add modules on and some how to use this program and some tips and tricks. So, all right.